Do we have anybody currently acting as a net control operator, KB9 NBD? I take a lack of responses no. I'm going to relay this message out. This is uh, from the National Weather Service in Chicago. Um, this issued a special weather statement for our area. Um, a few scattered thunderstorms have developed and will continue to develop across north central Illinois. These thunderstorms may become severe as the afternoon progresses. However, in the next hour or so, the main threat is expected to be small hail, gusty sub-severe winds of 40 to 50 miles per hour, along with heavy rain and frequent cloud to ground lightning. These storms are being monitored closely for an additional thunderstorm to er, uh, an additional thunderstorm development in the area is expected. Um, I've been watching radar. There is a couple of heavier cells moving into, well, pretty much already in Winnebago County. Um, one of the VIL images um, from the radar uh, does indicate that there is some hail um, developing in the storm. So if there's any reports of that, um, that'd be great. I can't really act as a net control operator because I have a three-year-old running around my house. Um, but if somebody reports something, I will make an effort to get it reported to National Weather Service. KB9, NBD. Just so everybody aware, the village of Winnebago just uh, submitted a report for a pea-sized hail uh, five minutes ago. Uh, KB9 NBD. KB9 CIL, West State Meridian, heavy rain, light hail. with the hail report. Um, can you repeat that? State and Meridian Road. Um, I'd say moderate to heavy rain and uh, light hail. I haven't been able to see any of the stones yet, but I hear them hitting my car. And my call is uh, Kilo Charlie 9, Tango, India Lima, KC9, TIL. Um, probably say smaller than P size then, KB9 NBD. Yes, sir, so far. Okay, thank you. I will relay it to the National Weather Service. TV 9 NBD, kind of, sort of, net control, but not really. All stations stand by for a severe thunderstorm warning. Attention, severe thunderstorm, warning. The National Weather Service in Chicago has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for northern Boone County in north central Illinois, northwestern McHenry County in northeast Illinois, Winnebago County in north central Illinois, until 4 o'clock p.m. at 2.52 p.m. A severe thunderstorm was located near Winnebago and moving northeast at 25 miles per hour. Hazard, 60 miles per hour wind gusts and quarter size hail. Source, radar indicated. Impact, hail damage to vehicles is expected. Expect wind damage to roofs, siding and trees. Locations impacted include Rockford, Machesney Park, Loves Park, Rockton, South Beloit, Roscoe, Poplar Grove and Capron. Other locations affected Rock Cut State Park, Rock Valley College, Rockford River Hawks Baseball, Rockford Speedway. For your protection move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a building. W-X-9-N-C-S. Repeater. All stations, stand by. Sky warn condition yellow. This is KV9 NBD. I just put the repeater into condition yellow mode. We do have a severe thunderstorm pretty much in the center of the county. It looks like it's heading mostly for um, 
the Machesney Park, Wells Park area. Uh, it's currently the heaviest portion of the um, storm is actually just north, right about Meridian and 20, uh, which is where we just got a um, report for the Peace Ice Hail. Um, it is heading pretty much uh, northeast. Um, in it, like I said, it's pretty much going to go right over um, Lust Park, Machesney Park area, um, KB-9, NBD, uh, acting net control. If anybody can take an official net control um, position, that would be great. I have a three-year-old that is um, somewhat ambitious around storms. Sky warm, condition yellow, good this afternoon, 3 o'clock. This is the WX-9 MCS repeated, Roxy. Sky warm, condition yellow. <laughs> SQR. TSU, I can tell you there, but we really can't make out most of what you can Attention, severe thunderstorm. What? Weather Service has issued severe thunderstorm watch number 144, effective until 10 p.m. This watch includes the following counties in Illinois, Boone, Bureau, Cook, DeKalb, DuPage, Grundy, Kane, Kankakee, Kendall, LaSalle, Lake, Lee, Livingston, Marshall, McHenry, Ogle, Stevenson, Will, Winnebago, and Woodford, and the following counties in Indiana, Lake and Porter, and the following, Lake Michigan from Port Washington to North Point, Light, Wisconsin, 5 nautical miles off shore to Mid Lake, Lake Michigan from North Point, Light to Wind Point, Wisconsin, 5 nautical miles off shore to Mid Lake, Lake Michigan from Wind Point, Wisconsin to Winthrop Harbor, Illinois, 5 nautical miles off shore to Mid Lake, Winthrop Harbor to Wilmette Harbor, Illinois, Wilmette Harbor to Northerly Island, Illinois, Northerly Island to Calumet Harbor, Illinois, Lake Michigan from Winthrop Harbor to Wilmette Harbor, Illinois, 5 nautical miles off shore to Mid Lake, Lake Michigan from Wilmette Harbor, Illinois, to Michigan City and 5 nautical miles off shore to Mid Lake, and near shore waters from Wind Point to Winthrop Harbor, Illinois, and the following counties in Wisconsin, Green, Kenosha, Rock, and Walworth. Remember, a severe thunderstorm watch means that conditions are favorable for the development of severe weather, including large hail and damaging winds in and close to the watch area. While severe weather may not be imminent, persons should remain alert for rapidly changing weather conditions and listen for later statements and possible warnings. Stay tuned to NOAA Weather Radio, commercial radio and television outlets or internet sources for the latest severe weather information. WX9MCS Repeater Go ahead, KB9 NBD. I will be home in about five minutes. Yeah, my uh, walk cloud is definitely uh, starting to break apart. I've got a video from another uh, person that's in a little different location with a better view other than over my head. Um, and then I know somebody said it was already posted on the um, um, one of the Skywarn pages, the image of the walk cloud. Um, but, yeah, it was definitely a rotating wall cloud, uh, persistent rotation with upward motion. Um, it's starting to dissipate now as it moves off to my east. Attention, severe thunderstorm, warning. Chicago has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for southwestern Boone County in north central Illinois, northeastern Ogle County in north central Illinois, southeastern Winnebago County in north central Illinois until 4.15 p.m. At 3.16 p.m., a severe thunderstorm was located near Stoneman Valley and moving northeast at 20 miles per hour. Hazard, 60 miles per hour wind gusts and quarter size hail. Source, radar indicated. Impact, hail damage to vehicles as expected. Expect wind damage to roofs, siding and trees. Locations impacted include Rockford Airport, Rockford, Loves Park, Cherry Valley and New Milford. 
Other locations affected. Rock Valley College. For your protection, move to an interior room on the lowest floor of the building. W-X-9-N-C-S. Repeater. Northern Illinois Skyway, our counties are under warning. Stand by for information. Here comes Pager Tone, volume down. National Weather Service is issued in Chicago at 3.19 p.m. The Weather Service issued a severe thunderstorm warning for southwestern Boone County, northeastern Ogle, and Winnebago until 4.15. Severe thunderstorm was located near Stillman Valley, moving northeast at 20 miles per hour. 60 mile per hour, quarter size hail. This is warning number two. A severe thunderstorm warning remains in effect for northern Boone, northeastern Winnebago, and northeastern. Correction, northwestern McHenry. Until 4, clear thunderstorm was located near Loves Park, moving northeast at 25. Hazards are 7 mile per hour wind gusts and quarter size hail. Uh, can I get a list of stations in the affected area, please? Call now. Charlie 9, Lima, Quebec, Bravo, Woodstock, uh, roughly 14, and uh, uh, Woodstock Road or Kishwaukee Road, whichever you prefer. Okay, um, can I get anybody else that's in there on uh, call sign and uh, location? This is Kilo Charlie Niner, Whiskey Whiskey Oscar, 20th and Samuelson, just west of the airport. Copy WWO, next please. NITIL, Rockford, Perryville, and Newburgh, mobile at the moment. All right, we're going to hold right there. Um, KC9WWO at the airport, I believe you said. Are you seeing anything to your south? Uh, nothing of a severe nature, just um, dark clouds and uh, light rain. Okay, thanks. Anybody else in that area? Um, call sign and location and any um, reports if uh, anybody's got them. Northern Illinois Skywarn right now. Um, this is not going to be it, folks. Looks like we're going to have some stuff later on. we got a severe thunderstorm watch in effect for all the areas. Right now, um, I'm assuming we're going to get some people coming with reports out of Stevenson County. Um, I don't need those right now. Uh, I do not um, request reports out of Stevenson County at this time unless they are of severe criteria. Um, right now, I want to focus our area on uh, southern and eastern Winnebago County and then northern Boone. Um, this is Net Control, K9TSU. Net Control, WCW. Go ahead. Uh, for the last several minutes, I've been watching uh, an apparent wall cloud kind of come together. Looks like it's uh, tightening up a little bit. At this point, I cannot see if there's rotation or not. Uh, location is two miles southwest of Cherry Valley, KC9 WCW. Uh, two miles southwest of Cherry Valley, which direction were you looking? Looking southwest. Copy, stations uh, stand by unless it's an emergency traffic. I you ought to make a phone call. the WCW. Sorry about the redundancy. Did you see you were looking southwest? Uh, net control, that is affirmative. I was looking southwest. KC9 WCW. 
copy that. I'll get it straight one of these days. Um, at uh, 15, uh, about approximately 15:33 to 35. Uh, I got you looking uh, two miles southwest of Cherry Valley, looking to the southwest area. Unconfirmed rotation, but uh, looks like a forming wall cloud. Uh, let us know if you see anything. Um, at this time, net control to all local spotters. I'd like to ask everybody to hold it unless it's severe reports only or um, or borderline severe, such as wall clouds like we just heard from Jeremy. Um, I appreciate it, Jeremy. If anybody's in the affected area and needs a weather update or a radar update to better coordinate yourself, let me know. This is Control at 1535. Um, currently, our main areas of effect are going to be drawing a line from Byron to Rockford to McChesney Park, southeast, and then also just north of the Poplar Grove area. Those are our main concerns at this time. Both are under a severe thunderstorm warning. We have a severe thunderstorm warning in event for Winnebago, in effect for Winnebago County until 4 p.m. We have a severe thunderstorm watch in effect until 10 p.m. And we also have a severe thunderstorm warning for another part of Winnebago County until 4.15. Uh, this is uh, an extra roll standby, um, it must be emergent. This is net control, hold on. This is net control, KB9 MBD, are you on yet? Yeah, I'm here, Vince. Go ahead. Keep on NBD. I just got a severe thunderstorm warning, and I've got uh, some interesting stuff out my window. Can you hold it for just about five minutes here? Uh, I will uh, do my best. I think I have a wall cloud near my location. Um, I will have the radio on in the background. If it gets totally 1033, I'll jump on. K9TS will be on portable. Um, Northern Illinois Scour Net Control Team, KB9 MVD, and K9TS. possibly take it instead of me, that would be very greatly appreciated. I said, I've got a three-year-old that I've got to try and keep track of. I'll do what I can. I appreciate it greatly. KB9 NBD, I'm going to be clear for a while. Standing by for any severe reports. Yes. NTSC resume. KC9 SQR handing over net control to K9 TSU. Of anything in effect, everyone stand by for updates. The National Weather Service at 328 has issued a severe thunderstorm warning, which remains in effect for areas of Boone, areas of Winnebago, and areas of Ogle until 415. Severe thunderstorms located near southeast of Rockford. 60 mile per hour wind gusts and quarter size hail. Another one is that's under a warning is north of Belvedere, Boone County. We've also got a complex coming up from the Quad Cities. Warned. We're keeping a watch in effect until 10 p.m. A new severe thunder correction, a severe thunderstorm warning update has just occurred. Updated warning in a second. 
Two then a storm warning remains at 346 in effect for southwestern Boone, southeastern Winnebago, and northeastern Ogle counties until 415. A severe thunderstorm located near Rockford Airport is moving northeast at 20 miles per hour. This is NILSW Control at 347. Net control. Station calling your call sign, please. N9 W E Y November 9 Whiskey Echo Yankee. Go ahead. Currently experiencing heavy rain mixed with pea-sized hail. Area of Alpine and Newburgh. Alpine, Newburgh, and you said P-size? Correct. Thank you. 1550. Uh, this is Net Control. Do any and all spotters in southeastern Winnebago County. Um, can I get a list for you at this point? I'm going to be checking statuses down there. This is Kilo Charlie Niner, Whiskey Whiskey Oscar. I'm just uh, east of the airport here. Uh, we got some light ponding uh, starting. Um, no hail so far. Copy that. Um, keep an eye out to your south and also to your, uh, I guess that would be your southeast a little bit. Just uh, watch that area for me and watch for any like, hail, hail um, streaks or anything like that. It's showing um, sort of a strong hail signature on my radar. This is Net Control advising all spotters and deployed units that uh, if I do not answer, I may lose power in a minute. It takes me about 45 seconds to switch to battery. So just uh, everybody for information. New cell popping up in the Pecatonica area starting to show possibility of hail at this time. TSC to next control operator. Correction. Stand by. The severe thunderstorm warning for Boone County. Severe thunderstorm warning for Boone County expired. We still have the severe thunderstorm warning for southeastern Boone. Correction, southwestern Boone. Southeastern Winnebago, northeastern Ogle, 4.15 p.m. Six zero mile per hour wind, quarter size hail. Got a very strong cell um, on Milwaukee radar is X-ray zero, X-ray zero, possibility of one inch hail um, just west of Winnebago. Keep an eye on that one, folks. We'll see if that goes warned. Go ahead. Um, what was the time on those wall calls you were seeing? Good afternoon. Yeah, uh, those wall calls had just been at least half hour, 45 minutes ago. Copy that, thanks. So, uh, keep an eye out. You got another strong one coming through. Stand by for emergency warning. Attention, severe thunderstorm warning.
The following is a National Weather Service broadcast. The National Weather Service in Romeoville has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for Boone County, Western McHenry, East Central Winnebago County until 5. At 0358, the severe thunderstorm was located near Cherry Valley, moving northeast at 25. 60 mile per hour wind gusts. Hail damage to vehicles can be expected. We expect wind damage to roofs, siding, and trees. Impacted locations break. Belvedere, Marengo, Harvard, Poplar Grove, Capron, and Union. Belt, Boone County Fairgrounds, and Rockford River Hawks Baseball. For your protection, move to an interior room on the lowest level of the floor or building. Stand by. Once again, we are fully active on the Northern Illinois Skyward Net. The PL on this repeater is 114.8, 114.8. Currently, the area of concern is between a line south, is uh, kind of over the Cherry Valley area, extending into Belvedere. picked up a little some light rain. Just want to let you know, I am uh, south of Cherry Valley and Belvedere both, right off of Stone Quarry and Bates Road at the moment. Copy that. Uh, looks like Boone County right now is our main area of concern. Uh, our secondary area of concern is northwest of Rockford, but there's no warning for northwest of Rockford. Identify yourself and go ahead. Net control, November 9, Mike Kelly, Sierra Mobile. Time is 16.05 hours. Present location, just passing Anthony Road, mile marker 33 and 1 fourth, westbound I-90. To my 11 o'clock position, I do have possible wall clouds uh, developing. It's trying to be getting itself organized, but I'm not close enough yet to tell if there's rotation. All right, my power just went out. I copied um, the possible rotation. You're going to have to repeat the location for me, though. Past Anthony Road, McHenry County, westbound I-90, now presently at the 32 and 3 quarter mile marker going west towards Rockford. Possible wall call development to my 11 o'clock position. Can't tell if it's getting organized or not, but she's trying. Condition is myself. All right, everyone stand by here. Okay, K9 TSU at 1607. I've got the possible wall cloud. I'm sure if it's rotating, though. Um, let us know if it does change. I'll keep an eye on the area on radar. Net control, W9 EMS. Go ahead, Dan. I got kind of like a bit of a low hanging cloud to my southwest of here. It doesn't look like it's rotating, but I don't know if that's what he's referring to or not. Yeah, it could very well be. Um, like I said, we'll keep an eye on it. I'm looking at it on radar. I'm not seeing rotation at this point, um, but I'm um, definitely going to keep an eye on it. Um, stand by here. And 9 MCS update. Go ahead. Sir, just about, just crossed the Boone County line here on 90 westbound. Yeah, what appeared to be that wall cloud has now detached itself from the main structure, but off to my left, it looks like it's po another possible development on the far side. Uh, EMS, if you're looking at this thing, you're seeing, if it's to your southwest, to your right, you're seeing the beaver's tail. Look to the far, far left. Okay, hold on a second here, guys. I see something on radar. Okay, right now, um, it looks like, let me drop a marker in relative um, area to Garden Prairie. If we look at this storm, exactly nine nautical miles, so about nine miles to the almost due west of Garden Prairie, just slightly south of Belvedere, kind of in that area. I'm showing some very weak radar-indicated rotation. Um, it's a very broad area, though, so that's possibly what some of this is originating from, but it's like I said, it's very weak and quite broad. Yeah, I, I 
see what you're referring to. Um, that one cloud that we were talking about appears to be reattaching itself a little bit. Um, if it's rotating, it's going extremely slow. I can't really tell if it's rotating or not. Yeah, the cloud lowering is not uh, it's not rotating right now. But look immediately to the left of it. You got uh, development. I cannot copy at all. Is there anything you can do to improve your signal? Signal improved there. That's a little better. Um, back off your mic a little bit. We might be able to copy. You're just quite scratchy. Get me on Facebook or give me a call or something like that. Yeah. Yeah, go ahead, Eric. Sir, just passing the 27 and a quarter mile marker westbound I 90, just two miles east of Genoa Road. I'm directly underneath this thing. It's trying to organize, but there's absolutely no rotation I'm seeing with it right now. None whatsoever. Okay. I'm so close to it right now, I can just reach out the window and grab it. Watching this um, 
kind of mess of a severe thunderstorm warning. Looks like a mess of mishmash of a couple of different hail cores moving its way eastward through Belvedere in Boone County area. Currently, Boone County and Extreme East Central Winnebago County are warned. Severe thunderstorm watch also in effect. Severe thunderstorm warning. Severe thunderstorm warning for the portion of Winnebago County has been dropped because it's moving out of the area. Boone County are still warned. Severe thunderstorm warning for East Central Winnebago County is canceled. The storm which prompted the warning has moved out of the warned area. However, additional strong thunderstorms are possible, and a severe thunderstorm watch remains in effect until 10 p.m. A severe thunderstorm warning remains in effect for Boone and Western McHenry counties until 5 p.m. Central Standard Time. At 4.17 p.m. Central Standard Time, a severe thunderstorm warning is in correction. A severe thunderstorm was located near Belvedere, moving east at 3.0. Hazards are 6 0 mile power wind gusts and quarter size hail. Radar indicated. NIL SW net control of 1623. Stand by, a warning is going to be coming out for Wisconsin. Attention, severe thunderstorms, warning. Service in Milwaukee Sullivan has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for Rock County in South Central Wisconsin, East Central Green County in South Central Wisconsin, until 5 o'clock p.m. At 4.23 p.m., a severe thunderstorm was located near Broadhead, moving east at 30 miles per hour. Hazard, 60 miles per hour wind gusts and quarter size hail. Source, radar indicated. Impact, hail damage to vehicles as expected. Expect wind damage to roofs, siding and trees. This severe thunderstorm will be near Evansville and Dorfordville around 4.35 p.m., Footsville around 4.40 p.m., Janesville around 4.50 p.m., Moulton around 5 o'clock p.m. Other locations impacted by this severe thunderstorm include Indianford, Hanover, Magnolia, Afton, and Fulton. For your protection, move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a building. out of Boone County to get severe weather later on this evening, so we're going to keep an eye on it. At this time, I'm going to shut down the active net. Again, I'm going to shut down the active net. Next trail operators, including myself, will be monitoring throughout the night for the duration of the watch, and we'll keep you updated. This is k TSC Northern Illinois Skyward Net Control. Stand by for a severe thunderstorm warning from the National Weather Service to our east. The National Weather Service in Chicago has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for Western Lake County and McHenry County until 5.30 at 4.30 p.m. Scattered severe thunderstorms were located in an area from Marengo to Union to near Woodstock will be east at 2.0 miles per hour, looking at 6.0 miles per hour wind gusts and quarter size hail. All this is radar indicated. Locations impacted and include following. Woodstock, Wonder Lake, McHenry, Island Lake, Piscatee Highlands, Correction, Piscatee Highlands, Wakanda, Lake Zurich, Fox Lake, Huntley, Lakewood, Lake in the Hills, Hebron, Bow Lake, Prairie Grove, Oakwood Hills, Macomb Lake, Holiday Hills, Richmond Towers Lake, and Sunnyside. McHenry County College, McHenry County Fairgrounds, and Moraine Lake. Correction, Moraine Hills State Park. Your protection moves into your room on the lowest level of your floor and lowest level of your house and watch forward three. Uh, not activating for that, just relaying it. Good 
sky warns condition. Yell severe thunderstorm. Warning WX9MCS. Repeater. Uh, everybody stand by for just a second while I switch the repeater over to condition green. KB9 NBD. There is a risk for severe weather. Be alert for changing conditions. Okay. Uh, well, figured I'd do that since there's currently no severe weather in the area. Um, figure I'll just give everybody a quick update. I don't know if anybody's actually doing that right now, but I'll figure I'll just toss it out there since I noticed the repeater was still in yellow. Uh, there's nothing immediately uh, uh, in our vicinity for severe weather for the next foreseeable future. Um, Tonight, um, looking at the computer models, um, tonight starting around midnight, maybe a little bit after, um, the risk for severe weather does come back. Um, we'll see. Uh, there's a possibility, depending on how the um, what the National Weather Service Storm Prediction Center see, um, but I'm seeing a actually pretty good shear, so we, we could end up with a tornado watch tonight. Um, but we'll see. It's going to be an overnight, um, early, early morning type event. So everybody just kind of keep your ears, ears open. Make sure you stay near a radio, uh, weather radio, something to that effect. KV9 NBD, I'll be monitoring. KV9 NBD, this is Case on G Shard. Uh, just for information, uh, we're, we're still under a tornado, uh, severe thunderstorm watch, or, or uh, still at 10 p.m. tonight for here, here in Stevenson County. Case on G Shard. I, I forgot about that. Um, I figured they had let it um, cancel or started a, um, cutting off some county since it's pretty much done for us. But, um, yeah, we'll see what happens. I know that one's till 10 o'clock. Um, so we'll see if they do anything with it, they cancel it, upgrade it, or extend it. Um, but time will tell, I suppose. Okay, Sean, sounds good. The 7 o'clock uh, report will become, uh, temperature report for Freeport will be coming up shortly, so I'm going to be, I'm going to be listening, and then, uh, I'll, I'll call you back if I hear anything different, so in case I choose share, we'll be clear. Alright, Jim, have a good evening. KB9 NBD. KB9MBD, KB9MBD, case on GCR. Uh, go ahead, sir. Okay, Sean, just for your information, the uh, National Weather Service, the Quad Cities, has just canceled the uh, severe thunderstorm watch for, uh, for uh, Stevenson, uh, Carroll, Joe Davis County. Speaking of the devil, yeah, I kind of figured they'd start doing that here fairly soon. So I'll keep an eye open for um, to see if uh, they do uh, um, uh, do it for Winnebago County. Wow. I love when my train derails in the middle of a transport. Oh, well. KP9 NVD. I'm going to go back to monitoring. I've got some stuff i got to try and take care of this afternoon before uh, stuff happens again, maybe. Okay, Sean, sounds good. And, and the new Midland Weather Radio, which I bought when the, at Walgreens on, on Thursday of last, on, on May 1st, when Channel 13 was uh, there, was it works uh, beautifully. So, talk to you later. Case on GCR, we'll be clear. We'll, st we'll be uh, monitoring. Northern Illinois Skywarn to all spotters. There is a risk for severe weather. Be alert for changing conditions. Northern Illinois Skywarn to all local spotters. At this time, we are going to hold the condition green. I have completed the test programming on the repeater, and the repeater is back in condition green. Um, we have a tornado watch 
one, two, three, four, five, six counties off to our west in Iowa. We are under a slight risk for severe weather all night tonight and tomorrow. Net control operators, um, calling net control operators, please report your availability uh, online for tonight. Uh, we may need to. I will be available, but we may need more than one. Possibility of some severe weather tonight. Um, been hearing uh, some rumors, so to speak, about some uh, relatively good wind shear profiles tonight. So I'm um, not saying tornadic weather for sure, but I'm um, just saying there is a possibility along with um, hail, wind, uh, but maybe a brief spin up. So we'll wait and see. Um, so we're going to keep an eye on it. We'll post you. Um, granted, it's nighttime, so sleep by a weather radio or something like that. Again, we'll keep you updated right here on the Northern Illinois Scour and Repeater. Um, we will activate for Winnebago, Boone, and Oakland counties, and we'll also activate for counties off to our west um, if uh, the storms are coming our way. So we'll definitely keep you covered, so no worries. Um, just uh, wait for the weather radio to go off if we do get any severe weather and jump right on here, and we will be here. This is K9TSA with Northern Illinois Skywarn at 9.41 p.m. Condition green, the repeater is open for normal use, but I'm clear.